like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. So, um, yeah, just just the other day, I had seen Zoka outside, and um, I had seen her outside, and I was moving chairs and whatnot. I don't really be talking to her, kind of like block her out, you know, and um, it just came to my attention that, you know what, maybe I do want to talk to her still. Instead of sitting there lying to myself, I chose to be like, you know what, I do, I do want to do that. Um, and so, you know, Have you have universe... those chain feelings, Zoka? To talk to him? Yeah, because there's things that need to be cleared up. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I wanted to talk to her. The universe kind of confirmed to me that that was something I should probably do instead of running from building my life around those fears, ducking and dodging, I don't want to do that. And so I was like, you know what? I'm For those of you who may not know, there was a period of time in which Alihio Bishop, AKA Nature Boy, AKA Three God, dressed up as if he was a doctor, called himself Dr. Bishop, and had these sessions with the members of his cult. This, in my opinion, was just another manipulation tactic, and I'm just shocked that these people didn't realize that while it was happening. But this was definitely one of his ways of manipulating, controlling, and setting the stage for what he wanted to happen in each couple's relationship. Fears, ducking and dodging, I don't want to do that. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just try to talk to her. Try to talk to her, didn't work out at first. Just mad resistance, you know. And um, long story short, the one thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I became this bad guy. I became like this bad guy in her eyes. And that was, that probably bothered me for most of that, most of that time. Like, cause I've never really been a bad guy. You know, I never why, really why, why did you do that? Um, I believe this has had a, been a permeating thing because he always says I'm not the bad guy when we were in a relationship. So you saying that right? You saying that right now? That that was the first time you felt that way? Is it's just not true because I've always you've always felt like I thought you were and seen you as a bad guy because of my false perception of myself. Most likely because if I can't see myself right, how can I see you? So I always seem like a bad guy because you're. In a, in a relationship with Wait, you. so you, you've you always seen me as a bad guy, you said? In a relationship when I, when I can't get hear, triggered. Can't hear. <laughs> Speak up mm -hmm. a little more. In a relationship when I get triggered, yes, I do think that you're a bad guy, so I hold those perceptions of you. Mm. You used to say, like, you think I'm a bad guy, I'm not a bad guy. You used to say that a lot. Yeah. It wasn't just that one time. Well, he, no, I that's guess, true. I guess what he's saying is how you were treating him. He's like I'm called for um, because last night when we had, we were talking last night, Be real. um, I was very much just cut off because I've been in this relationship with him over and over and over again. And it's led to the same point of me self-sacrificing myself. And even though it's deep and it's, um, romantic or it's, it has pleasure, um, I also see a, a opposite side of that. And so I was very resistant for two hours with you last night. I was moving, saying, don't touch me. I was very resistant because in my in my mind, I was like, I don't want to go into it. Mm -hmm. So I was very resistant. Yeah. Well, I see where you're coming from. Instead of resistance, I'll replace that word with immature. Oh! And because, Sorry. and because the reason, <laughs> the reason is it's like, it's not that she was resisting me, because I said, like, the, the whole time we could have just sat down. Interested in a great read? Check out Greatness is a Habit authored by Aaron Dixon, also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books for $1. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Guys, 
can y'all do me a quick favor? Hit that like button for me one time. Bush babies, come on out of the bushes and subscribe to the channel. I promise you'll love it here. It's like, it's not that you was resisting me, because I said like, the, the whole time we could have just sat down and talked, and you could have just, you know, it could have been like that. But it was so hard to even get to that point. It was, it was. Yeah. Do you feel that Zoka is emotionally immature? Uh, yes, do I you, think. You oh, yes, that? I'm definitely emotionally immature. Why do you think that's, why do you think it's that way? Because I've never known how to deal with my emotions. No one taught me how to deal with my emotions and how to communicate it. I'm trying that right now. Hmm. Did you, did you see your mom and dad in their relationship? <laughs> yeah. Was your mom able to emotionally? It's yelling. It's toxic. It's the independent black woman that I was programmed by. Do you think that she's emotionally immature? Oh, very much so. What is emotional maturity? Emotional maturity is the ability to intellectualize your emotions and not let them become toxic. So if she chooses to not dive into being emotional, is that not emotional maturity? Like if she chooses not to dive into being toxic, like going into something that she knows will turn out, you know, bad. Is that not maturity? Well, that's the act of it. But the ability to talk in those emotions, it's you know, through those emotions, is, is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all, help a sister out. Who is that woman? I do not know who she is. But she's sitting there like she's really in a doctor's office with two clients. Like, she's playing right along with it. Who is that, y'all? Do y'all recognize who she is? I know that's not the hairdresser. That's some other woman. Through those emotions is, is what we're talking about. Yeah. So, continue. We left off. Well, I left off on saying this, it was immature because by the end of the night, I had realized I'm like, yo, we could have said so much time if we would have just got to the point instead of lashing off from our emotions and whatnot. And um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm supposed to press and try so hard. Uh, I just know. I just know that about you. So instead of just getting up and leaving, like, man, I don't need this, man. I have to do that. You know, that's that's what most most people would do. Is not even deal with you. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I care about you way too much. I'm I'm here. I care about you too much. You're a part of my family. Period. So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna kind of hang around. I'm gonna just work with you until you can get to a certain point. And that's what I did. And we got to that point. To the point where you literally were. We're like tired of lashing out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we got to the real. And then we got to the real. We're not talking about that though. What's the real? The real is that there is emotions. Mm -hmm. on, I'll speak laughing? on my end. I'll speak on my end. Why are you okay. laughing? I'm going to speak on my end. And you, okay, because I was going to say for you. For me, what was revealed to me by the end of the night is that yes, indeed, there's still a lot of emotions there and thoughts and whatever demons, whatever shadows are there, they're there and they're not being addressed. You know, on, on my end and her end. And yesterday the universe spurred me to address them. Get them out, the talk about you? it. Oh, we had sex. That's what happened before we Wait a minute, hold on. Out. You had mm -hmm. sex? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't ready for that. Wait, but before, but before we <laughs> I wasn't that, ready for that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, wow. And y'all know he was not happy to hear that they were having sexual intercourse because he definitely did not want Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot, and Zoka, a.k.a. J.L. Marie Hamilton Townsend in a relationship. He didn't want anybody to be happy in their relationships while they were at the cult. The most important person at the cult for all of them had to be Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, or it was an issue. Ready for that one. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. But before we got to that, what was real? Um, wait, real wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let that sink in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put some bishop in it. <laughs> Hold on. Don't read the comments. Not important. Wait a minute. Let me put some bishop in it. Oh, you guys did what? Yeah, we had, we had Where? Outside, by the Outside? Outside. Which I just want to say. Outside? Outside? Yeah. Place. Well, I'll say this is most of the time so we've had sex initially was outside. I got some notes to take for that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nice um, really? Scorpio, here I am. Here you are. What's your name? What's your song? Gemini. Oh my God! Lord help us. Sex. Lord help us. Gemini so Sex oh outside. I know a Gemini. Doctor can bed too. I do. I found it. Really? Yes. All right. So, uh, yeah. Indian and African all in one body. The shit is wild. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. Happy Wait, guys, too much extra, extra. It's not how we do things here. I'm trying to look at the affirmations. Guys, this is not how we do things here on Dr. Bishop Show. Okay, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Um, so, yeah. Yes. That was the real. Yes. And how did well, Baba G feel about that? Um, he said that. Well, Can you speak up a little bit? Yes. Thank you. He said that I cheated because I, you know, I was just born into my desire. I know I. That's okay. But I'm just like, um, besides that, that's what he said, and he was like, "Hey, well, you must still have feelings for him." Be with him. And I was like, mm, I really want to. And that's the state of my mind. Why not? Um, because outside of sex, I think it's toxic. Why? Why? Um you seem to have a strong sexual bond. What's mm -hmm. toxic about And this? um you guys do you like Solar? There's things about him I like and the things about him I do not Well, that's with anybody, like honey. Sex. Sweetheart, sure. that's with anyone. That's right. No, it's with people that you truly, truly want to invest yourself. Nothing's going to be perfect. Totally all in. No, it's of course not. not. It's already. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be things you don't like and do like. Yeah, but do I'm you gonna... like Solar as a person? If he had none of your knowledge, do what I like him to say? You no. like him as a person. Scratch the knowledge. Do you That's like him knowledge. as a person? Sure. I All right, y'all. A word from Rambo, a.k.a. Wal Ketso. What up, y'all? I'm excited to share an offering that I've been putting a lot of intention and energy into. It's called Wild Brotherhood, and it's a community for conscious, intentional, sovereign-seeking men who are wanting to come together, build themselves up, develop themselves, and level up in all domains of existence. So there's two parts to the Wild Brotherhood. I'll explain it very simply. The first part is a monthly membership that includes weekly video calls, a group chat, access to a network of men who have different skill sets. We will intertwine that with one another as well as priority access to the in-person events which is part two the gathering y'all be sure to check out rambo at wildbrotherhood.com any man out there who are interested in building with like-minded men check them out i just want to answer this question do you like him take your time yeah i like so much why are you treating him like this? Um, for me, I push away people that say they love me and that they want me. Can you speak up a little bit for me? I push away people that say they want me and love me um, because in myself, I feel like it's not real. So I'll push you and I'll be, I'll push you away so I can see if it's really true. 
and that's playing games yeah why are you playing games when it comes to your emotions mm -hmm. and love i'm sorry go ahead okay i have a couple of questions number one once you push them away and they show you that they're really well what are you going to do because he did have sex with you on common ground where baba nature Literally. was there so both of you are not afraid of the consequences so both of you are willing to step into the fire for what you want mm -hmm. so now that you're in the fire are you going to live through the fire or are you going to let it burn you to ashes okay that point exactly am i going to live through the fire or let it burn me to ashes multiple times in this relationship it has burnt i burnt myself into ashes um because of the the energy. but still you rise like, like, no, no, no. And then let me also say this. My brother, he's been, in, he's been in a marriage that's been together for 16 years. And he said to me, if the person you're with... Y'all, for real, I need y'all help IDing that woman that's speaking right now. Who is that? I don't even remember her being there, guys. If you're with them for 16 years, and they're the same exact person when you still love them. If he doesn't change, same hair, same face, same clothes, same intellect, same intelligence, right? Because you can always log in. You're right here with Bob and Nature. You can always log in. You're always here. You can always tap in. He doesn't have to be your remote romantic, afromantic, because we're not Roman, we're African. Afromantic mate. He doesn't have to be your afromantic. Is that what he's calling himself mate. now? Baba Nature? I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's I love that. It flows. It flows. I love that. Baba Nature. I like that. He doesn't have to be your your physical mate for you to gain his knowledge. Right? So you can be with his brother. What's your name? Uh, Solar. Solar, yeah. the sun. Solar, right. the sun. That's right. You can be with Solar, <laughs> build a family, have the connection, but there's something that's telling you that you don't want that. Oh, well, yeah. What's telling you you don't want that? What's telling me is I don't want that is because... What in 15 years you bruh, don't want to see? Bruh, he's very... Um, for me, for me, I, I realized that I need a, a man in my life, um, a father figure, and... Has not so lot been that? No, obviously no. not. No, because there's still not. times he'll tap into that, but I, more, I see him more of a nurturing this type of being because he has that um, balance of feminine and masculine energy. And, um, so you're asking so for a man in your life. Oh my God. Yes, I need to trust fully that I'm being guided and not be like, oh, I don't know if I can trust that. How do you feel about that? It's shaky for me. Okay, guys. So on November 27th, 2023, Team Too Much, a.k.a. Aya, a.k.a. Porsche Wade, Efferu, a.k.a. Kayla Buckner Goodwin, Zoka, a.k.a. J.M. Marie Hamilton Townsend, and Malia, a.k.a. Tanisha Dulé, put out this message, guys. Let's listen. Reflections, if you hear this message, I need you to call the Office of Communications at DeKalb County Jail. The hotline, you just going to be on hold. So call the communications office and do a wellness check on Elihio Bishop. Don't let them transfer you. Tell them to do a wellness check on Elihio Bishop. He needs a blanket. It's freezing. It's December. It's cold outside. Two people died in this jail and froze to death. If it was your son, you would want somebody to stop and take a minute to call and check on your son because there's a power in numbers. Unfortunately, we tried to contact the Senate. We tried to contact the governor and get a lawyer. This system fucked up. They all on the same team. The Senate, the governor. So now 
the Senate, the governor, everybody's all on the same team as the prosecutors in DeKalb County. Now, we all know that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, is currently in administrative segregation. He did something that warranted him spending time in the hole. Now, the ladies don't get it, and they're having a hard time with it. So, guys, send prayers up for them. They're going to need it. They're struggling right now. They can't talk to Poppy. It's shaking for me. I, I understand. But it seems like... Go ahead. I can understand what she's saying. You know, we, she has, that's her perspective on, on who I am and what's, what's happening. Um, that's the way Do that, you feel feminine? Right? Do you feel more feminine than masculine? This is a real last question. I'm not playing. I feel balanced because I'm direct when I need to be. I, I'm masculine when I need to be. I'm feminine when I need to be. I'm Why do you actually? But you know you can dance between the two of them. Yeah. That's a good cool question. Because mm -hmm. you feel like she can't trust. Because some men That's, are all key. masculine and they don't feel their feminine energy. Yeah, she she has. Is that what you want? He's got to get to it. What what is bothering you right now? It doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to. I was saying I asked him. I asked him if he feels more masculine or feminine, mm -hmm. and he said he feels balanced. Because mm -hmm. some men are all masculine. Mm -hmm. Like they'll never tap into their feminine. Yeah. They'll never tap into their feminine, mm -hmm. and it's a headache. Yeah. Yes. It's important to tap into. It. It's important to have a balance. Yes. And to be honest. Okay. Even off you, you, you say agree you with that. You chart, agree right? with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel a lot of masculine energy off of you. Oh, very much so. It's I was, great. I'm with I it. I was but... raised by a total masculine woman. Yeah, you have a lot of so... masculine energy. This Your is mom like, was a hustler. I... She didn't need nobody. Period. So with Tim, it's like, oh, I can play games. I can. You want to be a devil? I can be a devil. But and can I, you take and care? Then I, I can be a god. I, which, which, oh, I can manipulate the situation. It's, it's like play. It's, it's um, for me to sometimes exercise my demons. I could um, be toxic if I want to. I can apply the knowledge if I want to. I can, if, I can be lazy if I want to, because it's like okay, you put you, you. Um, I'm gonna get too good. But no, you're no, the one ahead, playing. Ahead, but no, no, ahead. no. Listen. No, wait, 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 you can put your hands on me, and I feel like okay, like and. I'm gonna not do it because I understand, like, okay, like, realistically, if I punch you, I might get like messed up my face. But, I but can't I, hear you. If I punch you, I might mess up my face. And I ain't trying to do that. I'm a low key, a little bit of pussy sometimes when it comes to men. But I feel like sometimes I can G check your nuts because, like, mm. I got masculine energy. And so, I need someone to really, talk, like, make me go into my feminine energy. And make me want to I'm sorry. <laughs> So, can I ask you I'm question? sorry. Oh, wait, no, no. This is really fucking deep right now. Y'all are really taking weed. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry here. We have some feedback in the background. Hold on. This is deep. I'm sorry. What was that? Mm, where did that come from? Where did that mm, come from? I'm sorry. That's 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 all I heard was G check your nuts. Yeah, mm. 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 <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm working on my energy. G check your nuts. Mm. No, this is <laughs> This is deep. It's, uh, because, is uh there a verb back there? Dr. Bishop. Mm. Ablibs. Somebody's ab libbing back there. That's <laughs> what you can look like. Right. What it looks like what it looks like you had is a man. Who feels himself in balance with the universal principles of masculine and feminine. But you have a woman who You said he feels like he is in balance. In balance. He feels he's in balance. We're gonna go off of how he feels. Mm -hmm. He's in balance. Mm -hmm. But then on the other side, you have a woman who is feeling very masculine. And I'm not gonna play with you. Cause we know this from men these days. To hold the strings of a puppet feels good. To be able to say, oh, I can use my spiritual, I can use my sexual, I can use this, I can use... I ain't even finna hold y'all, but whoever that lady is, she sure don't know that she's sitting right in the presence of the puppet master himself, Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, because all of these Dr. Bishop sessions... 
were simply another manipulation tactic he used. And this woman, I don't know, seems unknowingly is assisting him in that effort. Say, oh, I can use my spiritual. I can use my sexual. I can use this. I can use that. And the whole time, you're playing with the relationship the way you want to. You can have him do whatever he wants in the kitchen, bathroom, garden, whatever he, whatever you want. Facts or not. That's not true. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. 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 It's I think you're feeling yourself at this point. That's okay. Every soul, that's okay. hold on. That's okay. Every soul I'm of saying, you, can I'm you, you Aziza? No, no, no. When, when you say every soul of you, can you please? I'm saying, I'm saying by the fact that. You can dominate him. She feels like she could manipulate me, dominate me, and control me. Right. So that's what and I was. My next question. Is, that's what she feels. My next yes. question is. My next question is, Zoka, do you feel that you dominate the relationship here? And that's what I'm, that's all I'm saying. Because okay. it's not about that's, me. That's a, I'm only saying what I Having all of your soul, I don't know soul. about that part, but do yeah. you feel... I'm saying need from her. Mm. I feel like I can dominate you. If I step into her energy... Yeah, I'm that's what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. You're I'm saying that yeah. how she feels is that she feels that she can dominate you. So yeah. she has a lack of respect. I squared up with you last night. Period. Yeah, I but you were dead. You no, you did not square up with me. Pause. You did not square up with me. You lashed out and threw a punch and instantly regret it every time. Yeah, because I'm, I'm. Come on. Awesome stop part. capping, bro. I have that side and I have water. I let you do that shit. You, cause you have you ever did that with Baba Nature? Never. You would never, never swing on Baba Nature. Why? Never. Because I, I respect him. Can I tell you something? No. Can I tell you something? What's your name? What do you call yourself? Zoka. I'm Mama Zoka. Zoka, Z O K E. Z O C A. Z O C A. Zoka. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not trying to be funny with you. Mm -hmm. Being a goddess and being in power, just because you can reign power over people, doesn't mean you have to. When you meet a man that can tap into his feminine and tap into what he wants, feminine and masculine, Give him that power, because that's a power. Bob of nature, he may can tap into all his masculine energy, and Lord, it is abundant. And feminine. He's tapped the fuck in. See? Mm -hmm. And maybe Bob of nature needs to train his masculine to be able to do the same thing. Train? Yes. Um, teach. I don't train, know what Bob of nature is doing. But we can talk to him. I can call him. He <laughs> should. He so always has call, that one in us. Call him. I can, At the end of the day, I can actually call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can call Baba this, G. This man in a moment. has has literally put himself on the line to be with you right now. Right? He can put you, himself out but there. But just to ask you a question: you. Can you train somebody to be something that they're not? You can teach someone. You can teach someone. Yeah, man. I feel that either you have it or you don't. Mm -hmm. right. you can't mm -hmm. teach people certain things. Right. You can teach people, you know, but if they don't have it, they don't have it. I believe it, but I also feel like people need to either, like, I knew this man once. What's wrong with him just being no, himself? No, no, hear me. That's what I was about to say. That's what I, That's what I was about And to finding say. someone That's that can accept say. him for but, who he is. But if you don't really accept him, if you're not going to only be with him for who he is, then let him go. Find a woman that, find a woman that loves you for your masculine and femininity and loves mm. you just as that. And you will get that. Listen, I left a man because he was too sweet. New video alert, y'all. Be sure to check it out. On a mass level, that's when I get concerned because I know that things being produced on a mass level has the influence, me more than anything, know that the people that can influence you has your mind and has your life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm. I will be premiering this video very soon. So, guys, be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Click your notifications to all so that you're notified when I go live or add new content. Just that. You will get that. Listen, 
I left a man because he was too sweet, because he wouldn't choke me. I'm not playing. Cause he, cause he, he, so he, he would not put his hands He wouldn't choke you and you left him because he wouldn't choke you? I'm not joking. We've all been there. I need your business card. I need your business card. That's him to be We need to cross. I want you to be We need to cross. I know what you He would not smack the ass. We should cross network. He wouldn't that. choke me. Yep. Yep. He he wouldn't say no. No, no. one else can have you. Because that, no. that feminine in you wants that masculine balance. I get it. That. That's That's that. What's your Instagram again? I get it. Yo, I love that shit. Yeah. And right now, what am I complaining about? I'm like, oh my god, I wish my boyfriend could come sit here. But the man that will rub your feet, make you dinner. Rub your back, pay attention to you, notice that you feel a certain way, like your sisters will. And yeah, yeah, you can dominate him. Yes, yes, honey, you can. And and pull it out when you want to. When you want it in the park, pull it out. I don't have to pull nothing out. He got. No, no, my point is, pull it out when you want it. You can do that. Oh, it's he. But, no, but, I, I don't want that. Please. I want to be telling my feminine energy, though. Because he'll do it, too. I got I gotta go. This okay. morning makes me have to relieve myself, but I'm not playing. You better figure out what you want. Because it, it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. She's taking a walk. It's a trade-off. He'll, he'll choke me out. <laughs> Tell that part. She said he'll choke me out. It feels great. <laughs> so what? What she I'm collecting here? Okay. Fourth C. And you got both, girl. The fourth C. I'm sorry. That's funny. Right. Come on. So in carbonation, we have three C. <laughs> <laughs> and the three one. Recently, we're not. Hold on, guys. Uh, we have <laughs> communication. No. Now, commitment, <laughs> communication, <laughs> and consistency. I did not know it was and a then fourth. And then it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's four, it's <laughs> choke that hoe, <laughs> the fourth C. Yeah. Choke? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like this three C's? Yeah. It's a <laughs> and that, are, wait a minute. Hold on, guys. Are you saying that if the three C's don't work, there's a fourth C? Yeah, yeah. Who Show came up with up. that? We're trying to stay away from the it. most hot cheat, Mama G. Mama so, <laughs> no, G did not come up with that fourth C. Actually, Mama G did not come up with that fourth C. Oh, I have to yeah. take them about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Captain, 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 Captain True. Oh, Captain True. That was one of my clients tonight. One of my clients tonight. It was Captain True that said the four C. Okay, guys, let's settle down I'm here. Serious. Let's settle down. Let's That's get true. let's get Mama some. T. Let's. So you feel that Baba Nature is the guy that'll choke you, and what? you feel that Solar is the guy that'll be like she said, sit down and sit talk. Down and by choke you, I do it include the intelligence. Whatever they whatever they think they know, they know it. You cannot tell an alpha male, a masculine male, what they know. It's alpha versus beta right now. It's alpha versus beta. But them beta fish will treat you good, girl. That reminds me of the video you posted to a woman. That sounds like that. She was like, if you want to be with a beta, like... Accept that shit. Them, like, accept him, like... Cherish and just for you. Let, let's talk about this. What do you think an alpha male thinks about a feminine woman that he can conquer? He looks at us. He knows he can control us. He knows he can control us. He knows it. Part of the reason why choking feels so good. I know you can take my life. I know. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back. To no, let's get back on balance. No, Come on, guys. This has gone way too far, guys. Come on. Y'all, check out this clip of Nubian, a.k.a. Musa, a.k.a. Dalen, and his self-proclaimed twin flame, Hadou. 
Y'all, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash that like button, and share. Back, to, no, <laughs> get back on balance. No, come on, guys. Not, this has gone way too not, far, not, guys. Not, come on. I'm serious. All right, come I'm on. Serious. No, for real, for real. Hey, all right, guys. Look, check it out. So let's get back to what's going on. Okay. So you guys, you feel that you could dominate so Okay, not physically. But mentally. Mentally, I feel like I play games well. I'm Scorpio, Mercury, Mars, and Saturn. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes. And I know that he, fuck, I'm, fu I'm fucked up. I'm a fucked up person with batteries, bro. There's another battery. Jesus Christ. It's still yeah. charged. It's still, you just have to hit the button. Um, I don't <clears throat> feel good about this, but I can say it because, um, since I know that he truly loves me and will accept me for me, and the fact that I push that away, um, just to see if you'll come back, and mm -hmm. you do, and your love is very um, unconditional, but you get what you need still, it's kind of conditional. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that I do that and play games with it isn't righteous. And yeah, I apologize for that because I'm just seeing myself. No, you don't. Yes, she does. No, come on. She don't. She don't apologize for that. Two reasons. Number one, reason number one is you want to be in a relationship just as much as I do. Facts. Number two is you don't mentally dominate me or play mental games with me or emotional games with me. I do that to you all day. Are you are you kidding okay, me? Hold on, hold on. Oh, so the, you oh, you okay. feel that you dominate her in every way. I know it. And she feels that she lets you do that in a way of playing games with you. Yes, playing herself. Zoka? Yes, the second part is correct. So you lose respect in that regards. Yes. Because he allows you to do what you want in a way? Yes. He, he, he takes control of the situation. He doesn't um, let me talk back in certain situations. He'll have, if I, I'm disrespectful, he'll put his hands on me for certain situations. And I'll be like, okay, I can step into my role as a woman and I can't talk to you a certain way. I have to be able to like hold myself and control myself. What? But the fact that The fact that I still test you and say certain things or treat you're you not afraid of is me not being afraid and me trying to see if I can have control over you because my masculine energy is constantly trying to fight with you. Why do you want to mm -hmm. have control over this? Do you want to be the man? I have a lot of, it, I get to exercise that in this relationship. Maybe you should like that. I'm going to let the, uh, I'm going to open up the lines, guys. You guys can call in. I'm going to open up the lines at this point. You guys want to call in and ask a question or comment. <clears throat> I'm gonna open up the lines right now, guys. You guys, you guys can call in, and um, let's let's hear the, let's hear what the uh, the class That's has to say here. here. You said what? I said I said that masculine thing. It's not like I let you do it. The worst thing that I do is take you back. That's the worst thing that I do because it doesn't work. You don't get nowhere with it. You break. You you don't beat me, I know especially I don't. with with masculine energy. I'm just cool. I'm a peaceful dude, yeah. so you wouldn't think that. Yeah, I know. You already know what I would do. Don't even come on, man. This is I, I, it's cool. I like the therapeutics, but it's cat. It's a lot of it, and it's cute, but it's just you don't not believe authentic. you don't believe that she doesn't. It's feel, like she wasn't there. <clears throat> you don't believe what she's saying to you right now. That she feels she doesn't have respect for you. you don't the know. confidence in what she has and saying is so fake, and it's, I feel like she's feeding off of Aziz's energy. And and whatever whatever thoughts whatever group is talking to her, but she's not. Why are you being looking real. down right now? Because I'm listening to what he's saying. Okay. Because she was there. She really knows. She's telling like a, a half a part story. So to me, well, why don't you tell lie. the rest of the story? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So in the relationship in general, because it's just a number of situations <clears throat> that we have. Oh, your feelings yeah. hurt though. And this. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. They're not hurt. I just don't like to. 
I just don't I'm think not, that I'm it's... not thinking that's Karen. Mm-hmm. Well, it's very not true. Okay, all right. So my, my feelings are hurt because I know so the that what's being said isn't... So you are responding from hurt right now. If if wanting to correct miscommunication is hurt. I don't... No, I don't, but you are hurt in this moment. At her her by the falsity. It's just false. You just feel like it's false shit. Yeah. That, okay, that bothers so me explain your side. So yeah, it, it bothers me for that reason. Um, my side is basically in the relationship with you. Is this whole domination thing, this whole this and that, that's not true. Your energy shuts all the way down around me. It doesn't turn up. You might start off that way. That has nothing to do with me. I fix it every time. Now I get, I get that I've been toxic. A lot of this, a lot of these situations, I've been toxic, and I made her the only problem. I will claim that, you know, when I, I avoided looking at myself in a lot of situations and put it all on her and her immaturity and this and that. I'm the one who kept going into it. I'm the one who kept allowing it, and so I see what she's saying, why she feels what she feels. I get it. I've been toxic. Let's take a I let's did. go to the lines. <clears throat> Mocha. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Dr. Bishop, how are you? All right, all right. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Texas. Oh, okay, kind. Nice to nice to have you on the show. Uh did you want to have a comment? Thank you. Yeah, I have a couple of questions. My first one is for Zoka. Okay. Zoka, why do you feel that you self sabotage? What do you think causes you to self self sabotage good things in your life? Um, I think it was programming, um, how I saw relationships in my life, and that's what I thought love looked like. Um, also, it comes from me not knowing myself and having experience experiences with relationships. Um, I like know yourself truly because I can't even love him if I don't give the love to myself. I've never mm-hmm. known what love, self love was. I never heard of that until I tapped into <clears throat> Tai Chi Baba G. And now I get to exercise that. And that's what I really yearn for. But if he's giving you love and you're rejecting it, I don't love myself. So when are you going to start loving yourself? That's when I wasn't loving myself, too. By dealing with somebody I know doesn't love themselves. And but aren't we all reflections of each other? Too. So it's, it's, a, it's just, it's just no. a lot of young... All right now, Bush babies, I see y'all in the analytics. It's 42% of you guys not subscribed. Come on, y'all. Go on ahead and subscribe to the channel. Mistakes. You know, and moving too fast. Plus, on a spiritual journey. Because we go, I'm, I'm super deep. She's super deep. We super deep. And because of that, we actually lost sight of a lot of different things throughout the relationship, which are other reasons to call it toxic. You know what I mean? So, the way we, the way, the way I'm supposed to be in a relationship <laughs> anyway is like more distance. Not supposed to be on one on top of another person. I have an 11th house Venus. I'm not supposed to be right on top of you. I don't even want... I really don't even like that. You like it. I feel like I have to do it. I like to be touched. <laughs> no, no. You, you, confu- like you confuse my love, my life for being She touched. feels that you're going to like what she says you're going to like. <laughs> right, right. I got a Venus tour, so she can play with it. You can play with it. You're like, like, oh, when he was trying I love to say, to let's talk different. last night, he kept getting close and trying to touch me. I'm like, if you want to talk, let's talk. He wanted me to have to just touch I'm not permanently cut off. I'm, I'm, I be close when I want to be close. When I, I can do that. He's saying in the relationship he needs. In the own. dynamic of the relationship, I it needs to. It needs to be more. Yeah. Specific. What's your other question, Mocha? Um, my other question is: Is Zoka? Um, would you be able, if you imagined right now that you and Solar was like, okay, we're just gonna move on, and Solar got another woman? or multiple women, because I know that he's poly, and you no longer had access to him in the same way that you currently have access to him, how would you feel? Would you be able to truly accept that? Or would it 
tear you down. Okay, let me tell you about my massive energy. I got a little, uh, he boosts my ego, right? Having someone that always wants you, it boosts your ego. And if that's taken away from me, I'll be like, oh, damn. So that I, that's closed now, right? So I, I want him to have another woman. I want him to because that's the, that's what he, he is. Like, he's going to manifest another woman. I already know he is. So I'll probably be like, good. Now I don't have to have that um, that type of lingering energy or like um, window open on my tab. It's closed off good because I don't even want a plan B because if you have a plan B, your plan A is not going to work. What is your plan A? Um, to be one with the most high chief, Baba G. And when I first got here, was I it Was it your plan A last night? Oh, my plan, <laughs> my plan A last night was to um, be in the moment. And Yo. yeah, maybe I like two men. Maybe I can think. Maybe, maybe like you do. Men. So maybe in the moment. Are you going to keep fucking this guy right here? That's what maybe the moment, at the moment it was just. Y'all heard that. She said she just might be in love with two men. This guy right here. Maybe the moment, else. at the moment, it was just do as we do. Yeah. Like, are we going to? Okay, so yeah. how did you feel after? It doesn't work, though. Men don't but work. you can do what you want, though. Because, yeah. all, no, no, no. Baba I'm G, by Baba G has let you sit here and have sex with this man and have this conversation here. So you need to just go yeah, ahead with your masculine energy and realize that you can manifest what you want. Because it's my world, but I still have to be aligned with um, righteousness. But if you want this guy... Interested in a great read? Check out Greatness is a Habit authored by Aaron Dixon also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books for $1. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Guys, can y'all do me a quick favor? Hit that like button for me one time. Bush babies, come on out of the bushes and subscribe to the channel. I promise you'll love it here. It's not to be aligned with um, righteousness. But if you want this guy? This guy sitting here right here, do you want him? <laughs> I mean, for real. Like, was it good or was it not? Even if it's, because we have to understand, you have 12 chakras, not just seven. You have 12. If he's hitting any of those that Baba G are not hitting, okay? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to go deeper into toxic energy and to understand it myself. Until He's I'm all toxic? It. No, it's good. And it's, for me, in a relationship, when I have not given love to myself, it's going to be toxic. You, you need to love yourself, baby girl. Period. And that's my answer. If I, I don't want to be in a relationship. Excuse I me. I need to be in a relationship. Can you stop nobody. trying to fuck her while she's trying to love herself? Yes. Keep off. Yep. I could do that. Because every time she has sex with you, she's just trying to dominate you. We know that now. Oh, no, I never I want to be dominated when I have I sex. I don't. I know. I, I never want to have to she be dominated. She just said it. I know this one. I never. Ooh, I'm knows. a Scorpio energy. That's water in itself. I want to be completely just do whatever you want to me when we have sex. Just because I told you you could. Wow. Um. Just because I told you you could do whatever you I'm want. I'm working on vulnerability and being real. Only because you told them they could. Well, we appreciate your transparency here. Mm -hmm. Only because on the you show. told them they could. It's only because you gave them the open way to do it. If you didn't know. tell them they could, they'd still be locked out. No, no, no. He has a way with certain things. So we're going to give him his power. He has a way with certain things. Oh, so he has power. Mm -hmm. I can be honest with that. Oh, so he can dominate. Huh? It seems to me that you don't believe him, even though you know he can dominate. So he can you dominate. just, in your mind, don't believe him because you're comparing him to Baba Nature. So, yeah, sure. so he That's can tap in. He can dominate. Accurate. Sure. Very accurate. Oh. Oh. Number one thing that I, okay. I, I find myself saying more than anything to stop comparing me to Chi 
That's very good. They Stop doing same. that. Because what happens is, is, a lot of the time, it's like a way to kind of like. Do you have another question, Mocha? Yeah, I have one last question. What, what's that? What's that? We're going to get back to that. I wonder, has Zoka ever considered that she can have a loving father figure at a Baba Nature and a lover in Solar? And so she can basically have her cake and eat it too? Has that ever been something that you've considered as an option for yourself? Yeah, but a woman is supposed to be with one man in Why? Uh, because that is your womb. Who said you should that? only be with someone that you want to have your child with. Period. I don't want to have this child. That's how I enough. feel. Yeah, but a woman is supposed to be with one man in Why? Uh, because that is your womb. Who said that? You should that? only be with someone that you want to have your child with. Period. I don't want to have this child. That's how I enough. feel. That's <laughs> my belief. Y'all be on the lookout for this premiere. This life is in jeopardy it's in danger it's in it danger is life is in danger right now the full length video is uploaded here on my youtube channel y'all be sure to check it out wow. that's how i feel that's <laughs> my belief <laughs> wait this, i don't believe that no, i should no, no. so aziza you <laughs> feel that you can be with multiple men <laughs> We'll get back to you later. We're gonna have a whole session with just you. Um, let, let me let me handle this real quick. Okay, so then your answer is what is your you have a response to that? Are you talking to me, Doctor Bishop? Yes, Mocha. Um, no, I I think that you know Zoka just needs to really make up her mind about what she wants for herself. Love me and. First. And and I think that she's deciding that she wants to choose her, but she also wants both Baba Nature and Solar. Um, so I think choosing her would be great for her in this moment because she's not being fair to Baba by cheating on him. And she's not being fair to Solar by mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. using him. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for calling in. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Or not. You can do what you want. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Dang, okay, well, here's the thing. If y'all don't agree with me, it's okay. Y'all can still go. I don't want watchers. I want agreeers. I want people who agree with what my reality is. I don't want watchers. I don't I don't need watchers anymore. Honestly, I don't want you watching because of the carbonation shit. I don't. Travel the world in the seven seas Everybody's looking for something How you doing? How's it going? Where you calling from? I'm calling from New York. Okay, nice to have you. Nice to have you. <laughs> I think this is more of a statement rather than a question. I feel like she more wants to have her cake and eat it too and be the dominating one versus, <clears throat> versus it, how it should be where he should be, you know, dominating, you know, the dominating one in, in the relationship. And I don't really think that she just wants to be with him. She just wants to have that power over him. You understand? And she also wants to be with Baba G as well, um, which you really can't have both at this point. You have to kind of make a decision, right? I mean, don't you feel that? Mm. I'm so insane. No. You don't want to make a decision. I, you kind of I guess my question here is, best of why are you treating Solar this way? Right. Okay. Um, what way am I talking? Are you the Tin Man from uh, The Wiz? With no heart. With no heart? <laughs> <laughs> but why is Solar allowing himself to be treated this way? Because he ain't And that's fool. another question. That's the other, that's the other half. Mm -hmm. He ain't sitting here. That's, not, that's not true. I've been a damn fool. Yeah, but she, she ain't nothing right now. Special type of fool. You know what's up. <laughs> <to you. laughs>
<laughs> no, it's true. You know and, so. been, uh, and you know what she submits is a real submission. Don't fucking flex. I just know that I haven't I've been a simp for a minute. Like bad though. Like it's good to have like a balance. I've been bad with it and so I understand where she's coming from. I get where she's coming from, or how she feels certain ways, and she doesn't feel a certain energy that's like controlling her. Because I've been very lackadaisical with myself um, a lot of the time, and so for her type of energy, it's not that's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not even good for my energy. So I'm not mad. Like I get why she feels how she feels. If I was a more exemplary person, you wouldn't be here. If I if I was if I was you blame me. Guys, be on the lookout. I will be premiering this video very soon. I'm saying like, look, I care about people. Look, that's not where you want to go. Look, you don't want to end up on the boulevard. You, look, you don't want to end up in these clubs sucking dick. Look, you don't want to say fuck your baby daddy because that perpetuates generational curses. Look, you don't want to, you don't, don't want that because it's Y'all, be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Exemplary person, you wouldn't be here. If I, if I was, if I was... you blaming yourself. I'm taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. You are who you are. There's nothing wrong with you, so... Right, even my demons and all. Everything. Yeah, there's nothing I'm wrong perfect. with you. There's yeah. someone... You blow my mind. Don't get too